Okay, previously I did a video showing how to edit a two camera shoot using iMovie and in this case I'm using LumaFusion and LumaFusion has some advantages over iMovie not the least of which is you can see the audio wave file which makes it easier to match up and sync up your audio but it also has some pan and zoom like Ken Burns type effects that you can add I don't demonstrate those here, but it, it has a, a lot of powerful features that you can use over iMovie. So it might be a good idea to upgrade to LumaFusion uh, for a whole lot of reasons. Here are, what I'm doing is I'm creating a project and I've already shot the two clips. I shot the wide clip with the iPad Pro 10.5 inch and then I shot the closer clip of me uh, using the iPhone 10 on the 2x setting and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring both of those clips in and typically what I do is I bring in what I call the A clip which is the um, iPhone uh, clip I bring that in first and that's the one where I had the um, the lavalier mic pinned on me and so I bring that one in first and then you're going to see here I'm going to have to pinch and, and, and zoom b back in so that I can get these to, to line up easier. And uh, once I get these two clips lined up, now one thing LumaFusion does not have, which Final Cut Pro 10 does have, is you can synchronize the clips using the audio. And you can do all this in advance and then bring the clips in and they're already synchronized. But here you have to kind of manually synchronize them. So you have to look at those audio wave files. So really I should clap in the beginning to give a nice peak to line up or snap your fingers with the two cameras, two items close to you, the two iOS devices close to you. That'll do the trick too. But I was able to line up these, uh, these wave files without much difficulty and that way I'm in sync. And so once I'm in sync, then I can do my, my trimming out of the A camera versus the B camera and and get the look that I want. So here I can see a little bit of audio. Okay, I am doing a two camera shoot right now. So I'm going to And so once I get everything kind of lined up here, then I can trim off the portion that I want to trim off in the beginning that I don't need and I can then start trimming out the portions of the A camera that I don't want or need and that way I can end up with the finished product that, that I want as far as what portions of each camera to show. Demonstrate a couple of things. First of all I've got the iPhone 10 on the tripod. Now of course you can bring photos into a video like this. As I mentioned previously you can add the uh, pan and zoom, Ken Burns effects, things like that. Okay I am Okay, I am doing a two camera shoot right now, so I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things. First of all, I've got the iPhone 10 on the tripod, and you'll see the tripod mount in the second shot. And behind the iPad 10 is the iPad Pro 10.5 inch, so that's a wider shot, and that's showing you the So once you cut out the portions of the B camera that you don't want, then you end up with the B-roll clips where you want them, and then you're always cutting back to the A, -A camera when you're not showing the the B camera but again the B camera can be in motion so you can reposition it to different angles and then you can hide the fact that you're moving that camera by cutting that portion out where you're removing the camera and so it gives you a lot of flexibility when you have a two camera shoot like this and now I'm gonna roll in the uh, finished video again this is just a very simple video because I'm just demonstrating what you can do with two cameras but you can do a lot more uh, once you have uh, two cameras in the action. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I am doing a two camera shoot right now. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of things. First of all, I've got the iPhone 10 on the tripod and you'll see the tripod mount in the second shot. And behind the iPad 10 is the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. So that's a wider shot and that's showing you the iPhone 10 setup. But these two camera angles could be on anything. So one camera could be on me, one camera could be on something that I'm talking about. They don't have to be set up the way they're set up now, or that one could be coming in from a side angle. 
So uh, having a two camera shoot gives you a lot of flexibility. I'm also shooting in 4K so that I can crop in and I can do some pan and zooms. And I'm going to show you how I do all of that in post. I'm going to do the editing on the iPad Pro using Luma Fusion, which gives me a lot of flexibility in the editing. I have also have this microphone pinned on right here, which is a wired lav mic that is going right into the iPhone 10 using the adapter that came with the iPhone 10, the lightning to 3.5 millimeter. So I'm plugged right into that. So hopefully we're getting good audio. So this is just a demonstration of how we do a two camera shoot and then do the editing on the iPad Pro. Of course I could bring the clips in and do the editing in Final Cut Pro on my Mac, but for folks that don't have that program and want to do everything with two iOS devices, you can do it the way I'm going to demonstrate right now. Hope you enjoy. And by the way, if you own a business in Frederick County, Maryland, USA, I can help you out with all these kinds of things, help you with these kinds of videos and get your message out as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, please subscribe to my channels. Hey, like, comment, and share this video on Facebook.